Hello, sports fans and football fans. Got a surprise for you today. Another football game. But today we're going to have uh, the added feature of a little bit of uh, NFL Films music in the background. Hopefully it's low enough that it's not interfering with you hearing my play-by-play -play calling. And we will also have the appropriate graphics on the field thanks to Dave Gardner who put up a video where he showed how to do that how to make every team uh, personalized at home um, instead of that you know stratomatic football logo in the middle of the field so with that having been said today we're going to play a 1995 game between the 1995 Buffalo Bills as the visiting team, and they were 10-6 and six in 1995, and they'll be taking on the home team Denver Broncos of 1995, and they were 8-8 eight and eight in 1995, and so with that, let's launch the game. Oh, wait a minute. That's an AFC, an NFL AFC field. All right, well, I guess we'll go with that. I don't know why that had the wrong logo, but let's see what the end zones say. Well, the end zones say Broncos. I guess that's what the Broncos feel looked like in 1995. Maybe they didn't have the, uh, maybe they didn't have their logo at midfield. So anyway, but as you can see, it is a better looking field than normal, than the normal um, football field. So with that, we will continue, and uh, we got, as you can see, we've got Jim Kelly at quarterback for the um, for the Bills, and he had a 55.7% completion percentage, interception rate of 2.8. You got Andre Reed at a split end. You have uh, Lonnie Johnson at tight end. Bill Brooks at flanker, and you've got uh, Thurman Thomas at the halfback, and Derek Holmes at fullback. So with that, we will get underway. We've got the pro set up as the uh, um, formation, and I'm going to do end run with Thurman Thomas. To start the game, and he gets some good yards, but fumbles the ball. The, Say what? <laughs> for Broncos, pick up the fumble. Unbelievable. All right, so let's go through the uh, Denver offense. Uh, you've got um, John Elway at quarterback, who had a 58.3% completion percentage um, and a 2.6 interception rate. You got Shannon Sharp at tight end. You've got Ed McCaffrey out at the flanker uh, spot. Jerry Evans at tight end, second tight end. Um, Anthony Miller at split end, and Terrell Davis is the uh, only setback in this particular offensive formation for them. And uh, defensively for the Bills, you've got um, Ted Washington Jr. at nose tackle. Uh, free safety is Kurt Schultz. Um, left end is Phil Hansen. Left outside linebacker is Bryce Pop. Left inside linebacker is Monty Brown. Left, right inside linebacker is Cornelius Bennett. Everybody remembers Cornelius Bennett. Right uh, outside linebacker is Sam Rogers. Uh, right cornerback, Thomas Smith. Strong safety is Henry Jones. And the left cornerback is Jeff Burris. So that's what you're looking at for the, uh, the uh, Bills defense that's going to try to stop the Broncos at, at 
worst from getting a touchdown. So we're going to put that in, and I'm going to go with the balanced um, play call on defense to start. And we do get Terrell Davis in the backfield or after, yeah, no game. So they've got a second and 10, Buffalo does, at the 30. I am going to... I'm gonna I'm you know what? I'm gonna look for the run again. And he does run again, and we do look for it, and he just mows right through us, even though we're looking for the run. Probably should have keyed on him. So they uh the uh Denver Broncos have a first and ten at the sixteen. And we're going to look for the pass. I'm gonna look for the pass right here. Elway is back to pass. Let's see what happens. He does miss the target. Second and 10 for Denver at the 16-yard line. I'm, You know what? I'm going to look pass again. And he does pass. And it is incomplete, it looks like. So, yeah, third and 10. Now we're definitely looking pass. And I am going to double-team Sharp. And he is passing, and he does complete the pass for a first down. Not a touchdown, but they have a first and goal at our three-yard line. And I'm going to look for the run. And I'm actually going to look for the run and Keon Davis. And uh, there, I think they had a false start. They did. So they got a first and goal at the eight. And I am going to look for the run and key on Davis again. And Elway is back to pass, and it's incomplete. And I'm going to do the same thing, run and key on Davis. He's the only setback in this offense, and he does run the ball, and we do get him. And so now they have a third and goal at our seven. Now, you got to really put in the pass here. And I am going to pass, put in the pass and double team. <clears throat> hmm. I guess I'm going to, you know what? I still got a double team sharp. He's got to be the most uh, dangerous receiver they have. And it's incomplete, so they're going to kick a field goal. They're going to try a field goal, and Jason Elam comes out to try that for them. We'll put in the kick defense. And so it's up and good. And uh, Denver will be kicking off. So we held them to three um, after our uh, critical fumble on the very first play of our, our game for us. So we have a first and 10 at the Buffalo 17. You know what? I'm going to air it out on first down. I'm going to air it out. We're going to go long to Andre Reid and see if he's ready for that. See if he's ready for that action. And it's incomplete. All right. So let's go off tackle with Thomas. I don't think he was ready for that. We got a lot of yards on it. We got a third and three, seven yards on that play with Thomas. Um, let's go line buck with Holmes. And he's going to get the first down and a lot more. I don't think they were ready at all for that. You know, I'm going to go back to the pro set. Um, and let's go look in pass to the tight end. That's going to be incomplete because there was nobody there at all. So second and 10, let's go short pass to Reed. And he got, he completed it and right at the marker for the first down. So we got a first and 10 at our own 49. Just about to cross into... Um, Denver Territory. 
Let's go off tackle with Thomas. Oh, he got stopped quick. You know what? I'm going to go end run with Thomas. Let's see if we can get him napping. And Thomas gets some good yards. Nice. We got a third and two. Third and two. I am, and you know how I like to go for fourth down. So we're going to try a line buck with Holmes. Assuming that we could get what happened there. We got now we got a fourth and four. I mean, I do like to go for fourth downs, although we are at the Denver 43. And we did hold them last time to only a field goal. So I am going to go pro set. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go pro set. And we're going to go flat to Thomas. Oh, he missed it. Oh, all right. So Denver has the ball first and 10 at their own 43. And I am going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to look for the run and I'm going to key on Davis. No, he's passing. I mean, he's got so many weapons, but so do I. Although, you wouldn't know it. So we do stop him, but he gets a big gain, and now he's got a first and 10 at the Buffalo 34. I'm going to, I'm going to do a linebacker blitz right here. Let's see what happens. Who was the penalty on? Me? Maybe me. No, it was on them. I'm going to accept the penalty for sure. So he's got a first and 20 at the Buffalo 44 now. And now we are definitely going to pass. Look for the pass. Double team. Sharp. And he runs with Davis. And he stopped. But he got some good yards there. He got six yards. So now he's got a second and 14. I'm still going to look. I'm just going to look generic pass on this one. And there is a penalty. Um, so let's see what happens. He's got a first and 10 out of it at the Buffalo 24, so that was probably on us. All right. Um, let's do another linebacker blitz, see if we can force something good here. No, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And we got, we stopped McCaffrey, but, um, before the first down, but only right before. He's got a second and one. I'm going to look for the run. And we get him in the backfield. We get McCaffrey in the backfield on a like a receiver sweep or something. Here. A trick play. So he's got a third and six at the Buffalo 20. And I am definitely going to do the pass and double team. This time Miller. Let's double team Miller. He never passes the sharp for whatever reason. And they get a first down. First and 10 at the Buffalo 13. There's 255 left in the first quarter. I'm gonna I'm gonna do pass and double team McCaffrey. And he runs the ball. So he's got a second and five. I'm gonna look for the pass. And he is passing. And it's incomplete. He's got a third and five. Now I'm definitely looking for the pass. I'm going to double team. Where's McCaffrey? Double team McCaffrey. And he is passing. And he misses Davis. So they're going to have to kick another field goal. We will hold them, it looks like, to another field goal at worst. And that's if Elam makes it, and he does. you got to expect Elam's going to make it. All right, but we're only down 6 nothing. Uh, but we got to get our offense going. The offense has really been kind of disappointing. And 
And the return is going to be pretty good. Pretty good return. We got a first and 10 at the Buffalo 28. And I'm going to, well, I don't want to do a long out of the process. Let's go short to read. Oh, it's going to be incomplete. Let's go short to Rooks. Uh, there was a penalty on the play. Hopefully it's on them. And it is. I'm going to accept the penalty because it was an incomplete pass. You don't have to be Einstein to figure that one out. All right, so we've got a first and 10 at the Buffalo 43. I'm still going to go back to the pro set. I mean, I don't want to abandon the game plan. Let's go line buck with Holmes. They don't seem to be able to stop the run all that well, although they're going to here. Second and 11, pro set. Let's go short to Thomas. And that, did, did he catch that? Yes, for an 11-yard gain and a first down. So we're going to go first and 10. We're first and 10 at our own 47. Or no, at, at his 47. Let's see. Yeah, his 47. I'm going to go flat pass to Johnson, the tight end. And was that complete? It was for four yards. We got a second and six at the Denver 43. Now we're moving. Let's go looking past the lead. And he does get the first down. We've got a first and 10 at the Denver 37. And let's go short to read. Oh, he's going to sack Kelly. All right, Jim Kelly sack. Now we've got a pass to get out of this mess. Let's go long to read. Long to read. And he catches it. Nice bomb completion by Kelly to read. So we've got a first and 10 at the Denver 15. You had to know that might work. So let's go short pass to Brooks. If we can get a touchdown here, this would be nice because really they've been outplaying us and they're only ahead 6 nothing. We can get a touchdown and go ahead. So let's go, let's go short to the flanker Brooks. Incomplete again. All right, third and 10. But, well, you're going to get a field goal from there for sure. So I'm going to go short to read this time. And it's incomplete. So we're going to have to kick a field goal ourselves. And they bring out Steve Christie for the field goal. And, uh, Hopefully he can make it from there. Looks like he can. All right, so. We kick off to them at 6-3, 11-47 left in the first half. Oh, fumble, fumble, fumble. Did we get it? I'm just going to fall on the ball. That's all I want to do right there. We got it back. So now it's a first and 10 for us at the Denver 30. Um, I'm going to go back to the pro set. I'm going to try to run this a little bit off tackle with Thurman Thomas. And that's a nice run by Thomas. And so now let's try the line buck with Holmes. And he is offside. We got a free play here, buddy. Buddy Joe. 
I'm going to decline that penalty. So we've got a first and goal at the Denver four. I'm going to go off tackle with Thomas. Touchdown, Thurman Thomas. And now we're in command. We're going to kick the extra point. And you've got a score now of 10 to 6. And we're going to kick off again. And hopefully we get another fumble on the kickoff. Can't really hope for that, but it would be nice. Uh, but instead we get a really great uh, return by Milburn. All right, he's got a first and 10 of this 31. I'm going to put in the balanced again. Oh, yeah, we got Milburn in the back. Field. So now he's got a second and 10. And I am going to look for the, I'm just going to look for the plane run. Just got a feeling. No, he's passing. I should have known. And it is complete. The sharp. And Sharp is going to get a lot, a lot of yards. We stop him at the 20. First and 10 for the Broncos at our own 20. I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key Milburn. And we're going to get Milburn way back in the backfield. So that was a big loss there. Second and 19, we are definitely looking past. I'm just going to put in the generic pass. And we do stop uh, Pritchard, but um, after he gets 11 yards, third and eight for them though. We're gonna look. At, we're gonna look past just the generic pass defense. No double teaming anybody. And it is incomplete. And they gotta kick a field goal. And they gotta try the field goal. It's not a gimme from there. I don't think. I'm gonna go kick block. But Elam nails it and makes the score 10-9. This is a really good game. Although there was only two games difference between the two teams. Buffalo had won 10 games and Denver had won 8. So it's not as if Denver was a terrible team. And we got a great return. Well, not a great return, but a good one. First and 10 for us at the Buffalo at our own 28. <clears throat> um, let's go off tackle with Holmes. Let's just stay with the run game, you know. It seems like Denver is not really good at stopping that. Second and six. I'm going to go back to the pro set. And I'm going to go line buck with Thomas. And he gets the first down. So we've got a first and ten at the Buffalo 38, and we're going to go flat pass to the tight end. And it looks like it was uh, <coughs> incomplete. We got a second and 10 at our 38. I'm going to try a short pass to Copeland. And he's going to catch it for a first down and a lot more. So we got a first and 10 at the Denver 32. I'm going to go back to the pro set. I mean, you know, you don't want to get away from that game plan. It's been working fairly well. Line buck with Thomas. Uh, that time they stuffed it. Second and nine at the Denver 31. Let's go... Draw play with Holmes. No, that's not going to do well. <clears throat> 426 left in the half. We got a third and 11. Now we do have to pass. We're going to go short to Copeland. And it's going to be incomplete. So, fourth and 11 at the Denver 33. 
He wants me to punt. You know, I really don't want to punt from there. Probably out of field goal range. So I'm going to say, let's go put in a, fa a pass formation and do a short pass to Brooks the flanker. I mean, if we give the ball to him right there, okay, we give the ball to him. But we got the first down instead. First and 10 at the Denver 21. A little gutsy call there by me, but not really. I mean, give the ball to them at the 33, big deal. All right, so uh, we got 333 left in the half. Let's go off tackle with Thomas. And Thomas goes right up the gut for a lot of yards. Second and three. Let's go line buck with Holmes. Uh, he's going to be trapped in the backfield. No game. Third and three. Um, I'm going to say no timeout. Um, and we're going to go pro set. And let's go off tackle. It's only three yards. Let's go off tackle with Thomas. See if he can get it. And he can. And he can get the touchdown, too. Well, he's at it. So, that was huge. Wait. Okay, yeah. Um, so, we are going to kick the extra point. And, uh, yeah, now we're up big 16 to 9. Or 17 to 9. 17 to 9. 17 to 9 with only two, just over two minutes left. We're approaching the two minute warning for the half. And we're going to get Milbourne. No, I thought we were going to get Milburn, but no, he gets a nice, really nice return to almost 2 to 35 in, in fact. All right, well, we're going to look, uh, we're going to look past now because he wants to try to get a touchdown as the half is closing and he is i guess he got out of bounds i don't know but anyway we're we're looking for the i'm going to go balanced here and that's going to be a sack we sack elway third and six at the denver 39 for him I'm going to look past. Remember, we have to kick off to them opening the second half. Do not be complete. It is. You got to be kidding me. Completed pass to Pritchard. I'm still going to look pass. Or no pass. Yeah, if you want to, well... I don't want to say if you want to run, go ahead. Because he makes the touchdown by running. So, Craver with a touchdown. Crazy. Uh, put in kick defense. So now again, he's right on my butt. It's 17-16. Really good game here. And they're going to kick off. And I've only got a minute seven. So we're going to have to do a lot of launching. Yeah, we're going to put that formation out there for sure. Long to Brooks. Is that going to be complete? It is! No, it's inter is it intercepted or complete? No, it was complete. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to call timeout. And we're going to go long again. And we're going to go long to Copeland. There is a penalty on the play, and they're letting us play, so hopefully it's on him. It's incomplete, but no, it's on us. So we got a first and 20. Even more reason to go long. 
to Copeland. Oh, and then we had to do the outlet pass to Thomas instead. Got to call the second time out. 37 seconds left. Long pass to Brooks. Is he going to catch it? He is. Going to call a timeout. Third and final timeout. 30 seconds left. I think here we're going to go short to Copeland. Oh, he's going to be sacked. Are you kidding me? Now we've got to get yards back just to get into field goal range. Spike the ball. All right, we got a third and 19, 22 seconds left. Got to go long, long to Copeland. And he's not going to catch it. Fourth and 19. And he wants me to punt. But with this kind of time left, I'm not going to do that. I'm, oh, I, I did accidentally. I kept it in. All right, I guess we'll just punt. I mean, we're going to go into halftime with a 17-16 lead. I guess we should be happy. Goes out of the end zone, and he's got eight seconds left. He probably, I mean, I'm going to look past just for sanity's sake, but he's doing what I would have expected he would do. And we are at the half. So let's take a look at the um, box score at the half. You have um, the score 17-16 Buffalo. Jim Kelly is only 10 of 21 passing for 171 yards um, and 75.7 rating. Well, Elway is nine of 16 for 155 yards and an 89.3 passer rating. Thurman Thomas has 10 carries for 59 yards and two touchdowns. Derek Holmes has seven carries for 35 yards. For Denver, Terrell Davis has six carries for 25 yards and Aaron Kramer has, Craver has two carries for um, 21 yards. And Glenn Milburn has two carries for negative nine. And then I'll let you look at the receiving stats. I'm not going to go over all of those. But give you a quick second to look at it. Elam is two for two on field goals and one for one on extra points. Or is it one for one on field goals and two for two on extra points? I don't know. I know field goals two for two um, from field goals that are 20 to 29 yards out and one for one on ones that are 30 to 39. So anyway, there's the statistics, the halftime statistics, and we have to kick off to them. Milburn returning it. Let's get him. No, we did not get him. I thought that guy might get him. Milburn, great return. First, <clears throat> first and 10. For uh, Denver at their own 32. I'm going to come out and look. I'm just going to go balanced again. Balanced works pretty well when I don't have any idea what he's doing. And it kind of worked there. He got five yards. Second and five. Let's run and key on Davis. And he, there's probably a penalty. No, it's on us. First and 10, and they're at our 49. Great. 
Let's go. Let's look for the run. Uh, we got him. We got him in the backfield. So second and ten. Well, we got him right at the line. Second and ten <clears throat> at the forty-nine. I'm going to. I'm going to look run, and I'm going to key on Davis. And we do that, and we do get him after a gain of only one yard. He's got a third and nine. Now I'm looking pass. I'm just going to look regular pass. I'm not going to double team anybody, and it's incomplete. Good. He's going to punt. We'll put in the punt return, and we do hold him on his first possession of the second half. And uh, Ruen's punt is a coffin corner punt that we're going to take at the 22. First and 10 <clears throat> for us at the 22. Um, you know what? I'm going to go back to the pro set. I mean, we still have the lead. I'm going to go off tackle with Thomas. And he doesn't really seem to be that good against the run. All right. Well, that time, he only got a yard. So let's go short to the tight end. Kelly back to pass, and he does make the completed pass for like 13 yards, and that's exactly what it is. I'm going to go back to this. We want to eat up the clock, and, uh, you know, with the one-point lead, let's go end run with Thomas. Looks like he'll get some yards, and he will, and he got the first down a little more on a 13-yard gain. So we've got a first and 10 at the Buffalo 49. Let's do a look in pass to the split end Copeland. And that's going to be a completed pass for again, like 13 yards. We're good at getting 13 yards. I'll tell you that. All right. First and 10 at the Denver 38. Let's go line buck with Holmes. And he gets a lot of yards, brother. All right. Nice. This is a great drive. Um, that time we got 20 yards. We broke the string of 13-yard gains. We're going uh, first and 10 at the Denver 18. I am going to do a look in to the tight end. And it's good for a touchdown. Yes. That was a great drive. That was really one awesome drive right there, brother. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to kick the extra point. And uh, there it is. 24-16. He's back down by eight now. Now, if we could just hold him this time, it would be nice. They're going to take the touch back, and it's going to be first and 10 for Denver at their 20. And I am going to look for the pass and double team Miller. I don't know why. And, well, oh! Is it a fumble? I'm going to jump on it. No. He got it back. He got it back, but now he has a second and 13. I, I am going to look for the pass and double team McCaffrey. And it's incomplete. So now um, I'm going to, I'm just going to look for the pass. Did he, is it incomplete? It is. He's got a fourth and 13. He's punting Ruen from deep in his end. No, I'm not going to do punt block. Let's just do punt return. I just want to get the ball back and eat some more clock. Get some points, sure, but eating clock. Oh, yeah, Steve Tasker. I am going to try to definitely catch the ball and return it. 
with Steve Tasker. That guy was no joke. And he gets a good return. We have a first and 10 at the Denver 42. We're already in Denver territory. Let's go off tackle with Thomas. Again, nice big gainer up the middle. I mean, I guess the Denver defense just couldn't stop the run, and that's why they were only 8-8. Eight eight. Let's go line buck with Holmes. And he gets the first down right at the marker. First and 10 at the Denver 32. Let's go end run with Thomas. And that's going to be a serious gainer. You know, that's a serious gainer for a touchdown. Wow. 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 All I can say is wow. All right. So we're going to kick the extra point. I mean, I'm starting to see why Denver was 8-8. Eight and eight. And it was really, I think it was all concerned their defense. We're kicking off to them, and we got a 31-16 lead. So they need 15 points just to tie us. And they get another touchback. I'm going to come out with the balanced to start. And he runs it, and we get Davis in, in, in the backfield. I'm going to look for the pass, just a generic pass, second and 11. And he runs the ball, and we do get him relatively quickly. Four-yard gain, but I'll take that. And uh, so we're going to put in the, uh, certainly the pass defense, and we're going to double-team Pritchard. Probably shouldn't be double teaming anybody because then he can just hit the open receiver or the guy that's most open. And that might have been a reception, but I think we stopped him. 13. No, that was a first down. He got a first down out of that. All right. Um, I thought he had to go a lot longer than that. So, anyway, now he has a first and 10 at his 36. Let's try the linebacker blitz again here. And there's a penalty. Might be on us. No, it's on them. I'm going to accept it for sure. He's got a first and 20. It is 26. I'm going to look for the generic pass. And there's another penalty. I'm going to accept it again because he got a good gain on that. So it's first and 30 at his 16. Definitely looking pass, and I'm going to go generic pass from here on out. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to double team anybody. Sharp catches it for seven yard for a seven yard game, but now he's got a second and twenty three, and I am going to look for the pass again. Second and twenty three at his own twenty three. He hands the ball off to there, flips it to Davis, and he gets uh, no gain. So yeah. Looking pass here, easy. And that could be an interception. No, it isn't. But we did stop the pass. He's got a fourth and 23. Definitely has to send Ruin out there. We're going to do the punt return. And we're just going to let it drop. Great. That was a nice strategy. So we're going to have a first and 10 at the 15, at our own 15. But, you know, big picture, we've got a big lead here. Holmes off tackle. And he got two yards. Um, 213 left in the third quarter. Let's go short to Copeland. And it's incomplete. So now we got a third and eight at, at our own 17. Let's go short to Copeland. And it's incomplete. All right, we're going to punt. Here I'm punting. 
Gonna send out Chris Moore for his first punt of the day, I believe. Because I don't like to punt, but in this situation, yeah, you do it. Milliburn with a return. And a good one. Pretty good one for a punt. They've got a first and uh, 10 at their own 48. I'm going to look for the pass. I'm going to look for the pass, really, the rest of the game, pretty much. If he wants to run, he can run because he's down by 15 points. Uh, I'm going to look for the pass. I want to make it hard to get yards downfield. And Elway's out on his own on the run, and we couldn't stop him until he got the first down. And he has a second and six. I guess they had the penalty. Um, I'm going to look for the pass. Run up the middle. I did a little. So he's got a third and two. All right, I'm going to look for the run here. Run and Key Davis because I think that's what he should do. But he doesn't. And he does pass down the sidelines of McCaffrey. Unbelievable. All right. Let's go back to looking for the pass. Like we should have been. And then he runs it up the middle. But again, we're now we're in the fourth quarter. 14.07 left in the game. So I am going to look for the pass. That's not to say that he can't come back down 15. He can, but he needs two touchdowns, and one of them has to have a two-point conversion. And I don't even know if they had the two-point conversion in 1995. Leave it in the uh, comments. But if they didn't have it in uh, 1995, he's in real trouble. Um, we're going to go pass and double-team McCaffrey. And he runs it, and we still get him in the backfield. Second and 10, or for no gain. Second and 10 from the Buffalo 12. I'm going to go, um, let's go linebacker blitz. I mean, it never works, but let's see if it works here. And it is going to work here. All right, he's got a third and 18 at the Buffalo 20. And we're definitely looking pass. I'm just going to go generic pass so everybody gets coverage. And we do stop him, and now what's he going to do? Fourth and 12, and he's going to kick the field goal? All right. Let's try kick block. And there is a penalty, hopefully not on us. No, it wasn't on us, I guess. So, or I don't know. So it's 31-19. Maybe he took it on the uh, kickoff. I'm going to take a knee for a touchback. So we're going to go off tackle with Thomas. With 11.43 left in the game, and we're up 31.19. Up by 11. Let's go flat pass to Thomas. And he misses it. Oh my God, he missed a flat pass to Thomas. We got a third and 10 at the 20. Let's go short pass to Copeland. And that's going to be completed for first down and a little more. Um, I'm going to go long here. I'm just going to go long to Brooks. He should be looking for the pass. But is that going to be completed? It is! Kelly. Kelly is doing great this game. I mean, not completion-wise percentage. Everything else. So we got a first and 10 at the Denver 35. And I'm going to go end run with Thomas. 
And he's gonna he got some yards. He got three yards. Let's go line buck with home. Well, he got a couple of yards there, so we've got a third and five at the Denver 30. You know what? I'm really more concerned about getting into field goal range. So I think I'm going to go blocking back and line buck with home. Hopefully he got enough. Yeah, Christie's out there, so let's try the field goal. And he's going to miss it. Probably shouldn't have played for the field goal. I'm going to look for the pass. Again, if he wants to keep running the ball, he can run the ball. But even if he gets another touchdown, that's going to be um, 26 points. And he's still going to be losing by four. So Pick it off! No. But we did stop the pass. He's got a third and seven. Gonna look for the pass. And we do stop him. Fourth and two, he has to go for it. I agree with this call. And I'm gonna run, I'm gonna look for the run. I'm just gonna look for the run. Not key on anybody, look for the run. Yeah, I should have known he was gonna pass. But it's gonna be incomplete, because he went deep. So we got a first and 10 at the 43. That's probably going to seal it. I'm going to go end run with Thomas with only 556 left in the game. And that was a good game, five yards. So let's go line buck with Holmes. That was nice. We got a third and three now. Let's go line buck with Thomas. Keep it on the ground, eat the clock, and, well, that didn't work. We got a fourth and fourth to Denver 37, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for it. Uh, and I'm going to go short to Johnson. And it's complete. Nice. 339 left in the game. First and 10 at the Denver 24. I'm going to go off tackle with Thomas. Nice gainer there. Six yards. We got a second and four at the Denver 18. I'm going to go line buck with home. Little 1995 football for you here. We've got a first and 10 at the Denver 13. Let's go short into, hopefully, into the end zone to Brooks. And, ah, he got tackled at the one. First and goal to Denver one. Gotta love that. Yeah, full house for sure. We're gonna go line buck with Gardner. And he gets a touchdown, and folks, you can put this one to bed. Looks like we're going to walk away with a win. 38-19 right now. Minute 45 left. I don't think that there's anything much he's going to be able to do. Milburn with a return, with a good return. That guy can return. All right, we're gonna, yeah, we got the dime in. Gonna look for the pass. 38-19. He runs the ball with Bernstein. 
Going to look for the pass. There is a penalty on the play. Flag on the field. Looks like it was on us. So he's going to have a second and one. I'm going to look for the uh, balance here. I'm going to go balance. Bernstein gets it. Bernstein getting some serious yards. First and 10. He's at our 43. I'm going to look for the pass. Uh... I'm going to look for the pass. Bernstein, and he misses him. Third and nine. Definitely looking pass. And he does throw it, and it's going to be incomplete. Big down. What's he going to do here? Eight seconds left. He's punting. Yeah, I guess he might as well. Doesn't want to make the game any, look any worse than it is at 38-19. And we're going to have a first and 10 at our 12 with a second left. This is the last play of the game. Let's go and run with Jordan. Doesn't really matter what play I call the Denver defense was completely asleep on that one. So he got a lot of yards. And that's going to be it for the game, right? Yes, it is. So let's take a look at the statistics for this game. We go up here uh, to box score. We can see we won 38-19. Saw that one coming. Kelly was 17 of 31 for 285 yards passing and a touchdown and a 96.8 rating. Elway was 17 of 32 for 211 yards and a 73.8 rating. Thurman Thomas had 19 carries, 123 yards, and three touchdowns. And Derek Holmes had 14 carries for 73 yards. Uh, Yanel Jordan had one carry for 17 yards, which was quite impressive. And then uh, Carwell Gardner had one carry for a yard. For Denver, Terrell Owens had 15 carries for 48 yards. Aaron Craver had four carries for 21 yards and a touchdown. Rod Bernstein had three carries for 22 yards. And Glenn Milburn had two carries for negative nine. Again, I'll just let you look at the receiving stats, but very impressive victory by the 95 Buffalo Bills over the 1995 Denver Broncos by the score of, again, 38-19. to And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.